In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, some of the different things that you can do once you have actually shared a document. So really quickly, I'm going to share this document with um, a generic Fountaindale account so I can demonstrate what it's actually going to look like. So this account will be able to edit. I'm going to send it. And it'll tell me that it's shared with one person. I actually have two windows open, so I'm going to be jumping back and forth between Chrome and Firefox just to show what it looks like when I have two different users in this document. So if I am in my Fountaindale account now, because I shared using that uh, method of adding the actual user account, that document should show up in this shared with me. So you can see I have that sharing documents document right here. I can open that up. And the first thing you're going to notice when you are collaborating on a document is that um, you're going to see their icon up here a little. Either um, it'll show up as a letter. If they don't have a picture, it might show up as um, some random little animals. But you'll see uh, one or more different users up here depending on how many people are using this document. You're also going to notice that there is an extra cursor on my screen that corresponds with the color on that user. So you'll see the little pink at the bottom there. You're going to see a pink cursor which actually shows where that user is in that document. So if I am right here after the word this, when I jump back to my other document, you're going to see the same thing except using the Fountaindale account, we have them, that user is right here. So that's one, um, one tip when you see this second cursor, that's what that means. Um, if you have multiple users, you're going to see multiple cursors. Uh, right next to the user list up here, you're going to see a little um, speech box. It says show chat. If I click on that, it will give me a little pop-up which actually lets me do real real-time chat uh, with the other users in this group um, so that's one option if if you do you do this with students you're going to want to make sure you go over some guidelines on how to use that chat chat tool efficiently so I'm going to close it because I don't actually need to do any chatting right now uh, the next tool that I'm going to show you is the comment tool so the easiest way to do that is just as you're reading, if you find something you want to leave feedback on or make a comment about, you just highlight that part of the text. It can be a single word. It can be an entire paragraph if you wanted it to. So I'm going to right click on those selected words and you will see the comment option right down here. So I'm just leaving a little note here and I'm going to click comment and you're going to see that that shows up. It tells me who made the comment and when they made it. Um, I can jump over to my other user and you're going to see the same comment. So you'll see that it is highlighted in yellow and it has that user with their comment. As I'm going through my document, if I have multiple different comments, when I click on one, you'll see the highlighting gets a little bit brighter and that the comment box is kind of selected. So now I know that I'm looking at this comment relates to this part of the text. So I can either give a reply to this and it will add it to this comment or if I have to make any changes, if I'm doing some editing, I can click resolve and it's going to make this comment disappear, meaning that I fixed it or that I I uh, don't need to make any changes, so I'm going to click Resolve, and you'll see that the highlighting went away. Now, if you want to go back and see any of these comments, you can just click on the um, Comments button right up here next to the Share button, and it's going to show all the different comments that have been made, who made the comments, who resolved the comments, and if you feel the need to reopen any of them, you can just click reopen and the 
the document saves all of these comments and keeps track of who made them, who's adding to them, or who, who's resolving them. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll look at some more tools that you can use while you are working on a document.